Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and good morning to my students. Today we are going to look at exercise 6.3 from this book. It is very easy exercise and uh, you know we are doing equations and rearranging formula. Uh, we have already completed 6.2 exercise and now today I am going to uh, start from an example exercise 6.3. Now this is an example. Example. Our example is 15x plus 12y. Now we have to solve this question. This is 12. Okay. Now what will we do? We'll take common whatsoever it is amongst two 15 and 12. Whatsoever is common in between the two or three or common terms we have, we will have to take the common between all the members uh, which are given to us. Now, but that common member should be the highest number which can divide this part and this part. Understand? Who will tell me that what kind of the common is that? You? You? No. Okay, I am going to tell you. That is the highest common factor. Highest common factor which we have already done in our previous lectures. The highest common factor. The method to find the highest common factor is very simple. You see that these both. Now this is not divisible by 2. This is divisible by 2. This is not divisible by 5. Uh, this is divisible by 5. This is not divisible by 5. Now there must be a number which will divide the both of the numbers. Now that number is 3. Because I told you a sign that if the unitate, unitate means when you add all the numbers of a given number that is now 6, 6 is divisible by 3 and this is 3 and which is also divisible by 3. Now this 3 will divide 5 and 3, 5 times 15 and 3, 4 times. Now you see 3 is this number which can divide 5 and 12 together. So what will we do? We will take 3 common out of it and that common should be the highest common factor. In our coming examples, you will notice that how highest common factor affects the question. Now, in the variables, there is nothing common. So, we will write within the bracket. So, we will write within the brackets 3, 5 times, 3, 5 times 15 and x will remain as it is. 3, 5 times 15 and x will remain as it is because we don't have a, we haven't find any common uh, in both of the terms. So the next is 12. 3, 4 times is 12. 3, 4 times is 12 and y will, the variable will come as it is. Now this is the whole answer of this question example. Now going straight to the um, exercise. So see what we find uh, in our exercise 6.3. Question number 1 part B. Question number 1 part B is rather take D. B and that example I did was the same. D. Now D is 35 plus 
ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके तो वट विल बी टेक विल टेक द हाइस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी फाइव राइट थर्टी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एट योर रफ कॉलम दिस इज योर रफ कॉलम ओके एंड जस्ट यू नो दैट दिस इज डिविजिबल ओनली बाय फाइव फाइव सेवन टाइम्स एंड फाइव फाइव टाइम्स दिस इज द हाइस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर Five seven times thirty five 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 times is twenty five. So we will take five as a common, and seven will remain within the bracket, and plus five will remain with t. Okay, this is the answer of this part. Rest of questions are very easy, so let me take L. Part number L. Part number L is two uh, p plus four q. Two p plus four q, and what is ahead of it is six r. Six r. Now you see that nothing is. common between the variables two is common in all the terms and just start writing 2p plus 2q 2 2 times 2 2 times 4 and 2 3 times 6 2 three times 6 it will become Like this. Now this is your answer. Okay, it was very easy. Uh, let me now take question number two. Now my dear students, I've already completed question number one. Now question number two. Let me proceed to question number two. And what part I will take? I take. Let me take part A. Now what is part A is twenty one u. It is twenty one u plus or minus forty nine b. Minus forty nine b and plus thirty five u v and w. So you see that nothing is common in between. the variables nothing is common between the variables so we will start from the coefficients and you know that 21 49 and 35 are the multiples of 7 so we can take 7 as common and we proceed by making 7 3 times 21 now it will become u minus 7 7 times It will become b and seven five times. It will become w. So this is the whole answer for this question. Now let me take part c. It is little interesting in this respect because we have two commons in this. So it is three x square. It is three x square plus three x square plus three x. Now, as I told you, that we have two commons in this uh, part. What are those two commons? You see that variable is also common. Here it is x. Here it is x, and the coefficients are also common. So we can take. Now you see that three x is present here, and three x is also present over here. Three x is also present over here. We can take whole as a common. We can take three x whole as a common, so it will become three x. Okay, three x. As I told you that I can take three x whole as a common, so three x. Now, how many? Now you see that if I divide three x here with three x, what will I get from here? Is 
I'll just have to multiply it with x. 3x multiplied 3 multiplied by 1. Now here it is 1. As I always told you, when there is nothing written, it is understood that this is 1. So 3 1 times 3 and x x times x square. So it will become 3x square. Okay. Now it means that we have common here is x. Okay, now 3x 1 times 3x, so it will become 1. So this is your answer. Let me proceed to another example and that is h. Now this is the final uh, of this uh, part uh, question because rest of the questions you will do it by yourself. Part H. Now H part says 32 p square q. 32 p square q and it is minus 4 p square. 4 p q square. 4 p q square. Now this is your question. Question is 32 p square q, 32 p square q minus 4 p q square, 4 p q square. Okay, it is very easy. 4. See that 4 is common over here. This is the multiple of 4, 4 a times 32. We have p common as well. We have q common as well. So all the things we have to take common. So first of all, I'll take 4 common out of it, then I'll take P common out of it, then I'll take Q common out of it. So it will become 4 P Q and within bracket what will, will be what will be left? It will be left 8. So it will be 4, 8 times 32, and we have already uh, brought 1 P outside. So only one p will remain inside. P p p times p is p square. P times p is p square. So we have already uh, brought q. So q one times. So here it is one only. But that will not be written. Q one times q is q. So we can skip one from here. Now the sign four is already the out. P is already out and uh, there only is Q. So this is the answer for you. 4 P Q 8 P minus Q. Question number 3 is a final question and question is factorize as fully as possible. So all the three uh, question states like this. Now let me take question number Part A. Question number 3. Always take part A. 14 n square n square. 14 n square n square and plus 4 m cube. 4 m cube and what is n? n is also q. Okay. As you know, there is uh, this is not the multiple of 4. You cannot divide it fully by 4. Okay. So what we have to take, we have to take anything which is uh, for which it, these are the multiple uh, 14 and 4 are the multiples of that uh, number. So I think 2 is the number for which 14 and 2 uh, uh, 14 and 4 are the multiples of 2 2 2 times 4 and 2 7 times now this is this has been decided now what is what else we do have here is m square here we are m cube so it means we can take m square as common similarly we can take n square as common so let me start it from here so we can take uh, 2 as a common m square n square now what will be inside 
it's been two only, uh, seven only, seven. Two, seven times fourteen and m square n square uh, times one will be and m square n square no one is not written as you know 2 m square n square 7 to the 14 and the same is here okay 2 2 times 2 2 times 4 2 2 times 4 and we still have 1 m here and 1 m over here so it is the answer we can get from this after factorization. Part B. Let me take part B, which is in fractions. Half E, half E plus 3 by 2 B. Three by 2 B. You know that this one is bigger term and this one is the smaller. Only the coefficient. I am talking about the coefficient. Now this is half and this is 1, 1 and a half. This is 1.5 or you can say 1, 1 and a half and this is only half. So it means we can take half out of it. We can take half out of it. So how we can take half out of it? Let me see. write it like this, half. And since half has been taken, only A will be left inside. And as I told you that this is... This is one one and a half. Now, how will you uh, uh, take common from three by two? Now, this is a simple method. This, I always told you that that you now this is like this. Now divide it with this. Divide it with this. You know that denominator will cannot cancel the denominator of the first denominator of the denominator and denominator of the denominator are the same so these will be cancelled or, or you can take it like this 3 by 2 multiplied by 2 upon 1 okay now again it will be cancelling like this now only 3 has been left okay it will be 3 b 3 b now this is not here now this is your answer Now my dear students, we have a very tricky question coming ahead of us is part E now. Question number 3 part E and which is, uh, in fact this is x raised to power 4. 3 by 4 x raised to power 4 and 7 by 8. Now we have to take the common from the coefficients. What I do, I break up these two coefficients. How I break up these two coefficients? is like this multiplied by 3 is it one and the same thing this is one and the same thing 1 by 4 multiplied by 3 if I put like this the asterisk in the computer it is alternate for multiplication sign because ahead we are coming up with x so we should not confuse with this multiplication sign and with this x. So I have made it asterisk. Okay now, again 1 by 4 multiplied by 7 upon 2 x. Is it correct? 1 by 4 multiplied by 3 x4 is 1 and the same thing. 3 by 4 x 4 1 by 4 multiplied by 7 by 8 x now what is the common can you see the common in between the two yes you can see the common in between the two and it is very easy to find the common yes this is the common over here and this is the common over here so 
proceeding 1 by 4. Now this is 1 by 4 and what we are left with is and x is also common over here. x is also common over here. So what we are left with is 3x cube. 3x cube because 1x has gone out now. And from here it is 7 by 2 x is already gone out. Now if we refine this, if we refine this, it will become 1 by 4x because it is factorized as fully as possible. The question is factorized as fully as possible. So it will become 2 and it will become 6x cubed plus, uh, plus 7. Okay. Now you see stepwise. In fact, the answer may be this. Yes, answer can be this. But we have to see the answer of the book as well. So you see that you can multiply this two with this one. Now it will become one by eight x and six x cube plus seven will be your answer. Answer may be this or this. But is in book, this is your answer. Answer in book. Okay. Now I hope you would have understood this question. Part F out of it. Now you see that we are getting some difficult questions. 3x minus 4 plus 5x minus 4. Very easy. I thought it would have been difficult, but it is very easy. You see that these two are common. X minus 4 and X minus 4. Okay, come up. X minus 4 is common and 3 plus 5. It will become 8X minus 4. Similarly, I am going to take part G. 5x square plus 1, 5x plus 1 the whole square, minus 4x plus 1, x plus 1 the whole cube. Now similarly you see that they are the both inside the bracket, inside the bracket are both equal, are common. So what we do here is now only the difference is that it is raised to power 2, it is raised to power 3. So we take raised to power 2 because it is common. Okay now what is are we, what are we left with is 5 minus 4. x square plus 1 is common. So let me take this bracket now. Now only 5 has been left from here and 4 from here, but this is 1 power still with us. Now, this is your answer. Now, you see that it means we have to multiply this with this one because by the Bodmer's rule, we have to uh, solve this thing at first. So, what will be the answer? x plus 1 the whole square. Now we have to solve this sum. 4x, this is minus 4x minus 1. Okay. 5 is as it is minus 4x minus 1. Uh, minus 4x minus 4, sorry. Minus 4x minus 4. Minus 4x minus 4. Okay. I'll jump upwards. Uh, let me do it over here. Rest of the question because uh, it will become now x square plus 1, x plus 1 the whole square, sorry, and 5 minus 4, 
फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन सो वन माइनस फोर एक्स दिस शुड बी द आंसर यस दिस इज द आंसर नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दिस इज लेक्चर इज इनफ फॉर यू बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट इट हैज ओवर कैरिड माई टाइम so we'll be doing uh, chapter number 7 very soon because only one exercise is left uh, in fact two exercises summary is also there yes two uh, two exercises are left 6.4 and examination paper questions but before uh, signing off i may uh, tell you that my students are very anxious that i keep on uploading my lectures so uh, i'll try to regularly upload my lectures now from now because i was very much very much very much busy uh, in the past few days uh, and one thing more you can join me at facebook now also join me at facebook join me at facebook okay the page name is same Maths netting. Now it's time to sign off now. Sign off. Okay, my dear students. Soon be coming with chapter number seven because my students are requesting to speed my up, uh, expedite my lectures. So I am going to expedite it in the next uh, few days. I'll be uh, finish finishing up this. Uh, Uh, chapter number six, including the examination paper questions. So it's time to TV you. Okay, bye. Allah face.